So I wanted to make a window cat perch or a window cat bed, <laughs> however you want to say it. And uh, I started looking around at different store-bought uh, ones that they have and then also started looking online at some different plans. And um, ultimately I, I found this book called Birdhouses and Moors by A.J. Hamler. And uh, over the years I've made several of A.J.'s projects and he, he's a great woodworker. If you haven't checked out any of his books, um, you should. He, he does a really good job of making things simple and easy to understand. Um, and, you know, in this one, I, I kind of went a little on my own and made things a little bit different, which, you know, you should, right? If you find a plan that you really like or um, that you download or whatever, um, don't be afraid to experiment with that a little bit and kind of make it your own. Um, this one was made, um, well, pretty much, it was made entirely out of scrap lumber that I had in my garage. But even if you have to buy the lumber for it, it there's just not a whole lot to it. So you can do it for fairly, uh, fairly cheap. Um, and the carpet that I have on top is actually a bath mat that I picked up at uh, Walmart or Target or one of those types of stores. Um, so the whole thing was, was pretty inexpensive. Um, I've got little suction cups on the windows that are kind of helping to support this. Um, but it's also held together with our, it's strengthened I guess with the brackets that are on the bottom. So uh, anyways, check out the video of how I made this. And uh, as always, you can check out my website at woodlogger.com where I have more uh, pictures about this project and other things going on in my shop. So one of the first things I have to do is figure out the thickness of the boards that I'm going to need uh, that will make contact with the walls um, that are attached to, to, the, to the cat bed. So what I did first, or what I'm going to do first, is actually measure the length from the wall to the end of my window sills. And uh, everyone's is going to be just a little bit different. So for me, Mine is about two and five eighths, so I will make mine about two and five eighths, maybe two and three quarters, uh, to give myself a little bit of gap there. And uh, if you can imagine, if this is the bed, I'll have a uh, uh, like a support board that will actually come right up to it, but it'll also need to make contact with the wall. So uh, I'm going to work on that next. One of the first things I had to do to get started on my cat bed was to actually cut the board that the bed's going to sit on. Um, I made this one 13 by 22, which is what um, uh, E.G. has uh, in his plans in his book, and it works perfect. It's, it's just the right size that I want to use. One thing that I did do different, though, was that um, in the plan, at least in the book, he's using pine, which ideally is probably what you want to do if you have some. I've got so much leftover uh, three-quarter inch plywood that I really wanted to use it. It's a little heavier than pine, um, but I, you know, I think it'll hold up. So that was one of the things. One of the next things too was the um, the brackets that I've got that'll be attached to it. They're gonna kind of go like woo, a little bit like this, if you can imagine. And these will actually attach to some wood. And here again, I ha I got really lucky on this project. I've got a lot of leftover scrap. Um, in this case, I've got oak, which I wouldn't normally recommend oak for something like this. Um, but I wonder why I had a lot of leftover, but I did have a lot of leftover uh, oak plywood. Um, and it's, it's just the perfect width. I mean, it was already, it was almost like I pre-cut it or something. It's perfect. So um, I'm going to be using a lot of these. And I am going to do um, a little bit different from, from AJ's plan um, because the width of my uh, windowsills are so much thicker. Um, I'm not going to use a full board for that. And so, anyways, I'm going to glue these up and cut these down to the sizes that I want and uh, work on gluing that up. Hey, so I wanted to point out one thing before I start on my um, miter saw. Whenever I have multiple boards, um, especially smaller ones, if there's stacks of them, um, and in this case I've got, you know, the, the legs and kind of where they'll be joined, um, one thing I always do, or I'll try to do, is tape them up so that you have a consistent cut no matter um, no matter how many times you do it. And that's, that's really one of the biggest tricks in woodworking, right, is you want to have a consistent cut every single time. So uh, anyways, I tape it up, mark it, and I just kind of want to point that out for just a second. So now what I want to do is I want to set my legs up. Um, that'll go at the bottom of the uh, cat bed and what I've decided on mine is, is you know I cut all these sort of smaller pieces and it's, it's gonna look a little beefy and, and I kind of like that look actually better than trying to do a, a, maybe a, a, a block like that uh, that's thicker I don't know I just kind of purely preference on my part but uh, really all I'm gonna do for that is I'm just gonna use some um, 
some glue. And I think that'll do nicely. And I'll use a clamp until it's dry. All right, well, there you have it. I'm going to let this dry up for a little bit and uh, repeat the process again for the, uh, the other leg that I've got here. Okay, so I've got my board for the bed, and I've gone ahead and I've attached these angle bra brackets. Um, that will be used when we attach to the window and also to um, to the brackets. Next up, I've got my carpet, and this carpet, I you know, I just picked this up at uh, uh, oh, it's like a Walmart or a Target, um, and you know, and I went cheap on it because it's for a pet. And I would, if you don't, if you have a leftover carpet, that would work too. Next up, I'm gonna just kind of draw some marks. And these are really just kind of cut marks as a guide. So that I'll know when I make my cuts, I can fold the carpet over, I'll tack it on, um, and then tack it over this way as well. Um, I probably wouldn't have to worry about it so much on, on that side as I do this side, but because of the angle brackets, um, I'm going to have to kind of tuck it around a little bit. So anyways, I'm going to make my marks and uh, cut that out next. Okay, well I've got my carpet all cut out the way I want it. I've got my angle bracket right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just... Bend, pull these over and then just use staples to kind of hold everything in place and then I'll just go all the way around the board and kind of stretch it tight as I go. And if I do everything right, it should stay pretty good. I've got my carpet all ready to go. So I've got my rails here that are that the um, bed's going to sit on and really my next step now is to go ahead and install the angle brackets. So it looks something like this when the bed is sitting on top of it um, and then this will actually sit against the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and install that now and uh, really after that there's not much more. Okay, so I've got my angle brackets on uh, both of my legs right here. My next step now is really to sort of uh, take a measurement at my window to confirm how far back I want to have this sit. Um, depending on the width of my window sill, I may want to go further closer to the window um, or I may, I may want to scoot it back some. So I'm going to take a measurement at my window and then the last step will be is to simply attach the uh, the brackets to the back. Well, you know, there it is. I've got my angle bracket attached. Everything seems to be just fine there. Next up, I just need to attach this to my window, and I'll, I'm all done. So uh, check out my website at woodlogger.com where I'll put some more uh, detailed pictures and some information about this project and other things going on in my shop. And if, if you haven't already hit subscribe on YouTube, uh, be sure to hit subscribe so that you'll see uh, more uh, videos that I have going on. They're always woodworking related, um, and I just put them out there from time to time. Um, so I'll see you around.